Hello Taurus, welcome back. For those that are new to the channel, I hope you stay, but welcome nonetheless. We're going to do a general read for you Taurus. We're going to look at your current energy, desire, outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. We will also clarify all those cards and then at the end I'll pull three more cards around the read just to make sure we have everything on the table. <clears throat> The interesting words that came into my head is, I don't even know where to start with you, Taurus. Ah, pfft, weird. Um, some of you feeling tense, anxious. Too many cards. <clears throat> tense and anxious. There you go. On guard in your head. Um, I'm going to leave those out. So what is current energy for Taurus? Actually, that's probably it. Let's pull those down here. Let's clarify. Why are they tense and anxious? Although you're healing, it feels like you lost. You lost in love. Maybe you're hoping for a rebirth in love. Um, there's something that you're missing. You're missing the key in order to open that door and walk through it, uh, metaphorically speaking. But we see that you're healing. Um, maybe you're feeling a lot better, but underneath we still have this Five of Pentacles. And then we have the Ace of Cups here, which talks that this is all around love. So, what is the desire? What is Taurus's desire, please? Desire for Taurus. Okay. Hangman. Oh. We see that you're wanting things to change with respect to what you're working on. You want to work towards a future with somebody. And we see that this Eight of Pentacles, maybe you're not sure what to do for work that will bring you happiness. Um, you're considering change for what you do for work, possibly. <clears throat> But for others of you, this could be trying to figure out what to do with the specific relationship and wondering if that change has happened. Uh, this could be you, this could be them, but we have the hangman, which is Pisces energy, which seems to typically show up for you, Taurus. Uh, even when I've listened to other readers, it seems like Pisces is sort of a great part of your reads overall. So what is the outcome for Taurus, please? What is the outcome? With respect to this person, what is the outcome? Six of Swords, Chariot, <clears throat> and the Devil. We see that the outcome is somebody coming towards you possibly or that things are starting to get easier for you overall possibly with respect to the situation that you're in this current energy that somebody is waiting for you to come forward even though that these things seemed uh, to be toxic this is that it takes effort for them to come forward this could be you this could be them um, but we see they're still waiting. What's working for you is the High Priestess. High Priestess, from the other readers that I've listened to, has been showing up a lot as well for you, Taurus. Now, the High Priestess is about intuition. Uh, Page of Wands, your hope there's communication. There could be communication coming in for you uh, with respect to this individual. We see that there's a lot of love, 
but you're unsure what's going to happen with this. Is this just another... Um, is this really a gift? Is this just going to turn and go the same way that it did last time? But use your intuition around this gift or this person returning to give you their love. And, you know, be careful that it doesn't get the best of you. So what does Taurus need to be aware of? Maybe you're waiting for them to return. What does Taurus need to be aware of, please? Five of Wands, Lovers, Eight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Well, the Five of Wands is conflict, but these people are learning. Um, this can be, I must get like uh, other people are interfering with this as well. Um, but there's the possibility of, because of this conflict, there is love coming in for you. Uh, quickly with the eight of wands where somebody wants to um, start anew with the ace of pentacles for others of you this could be that there's something that you really want to do maybe you're conflicted about uh, steps to take in order to bring business or work or something like that and this is something that you really love to do Let's pull three more cards for Taurus, please. Three more cards for Taurus. Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Hermit. Knight of Wands, taking action in an area of your life where there's a new beginning, and you're really thinking about that. He's with the Hermit. You're really contemplating how to start a new beginning, but you're really wanting to take that. What is the Ace of Wands for Taurus, please? What is the Ace of Wands for Taurus? Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands. It's like you want to work on a relationship of sorts. You want to work and make some progress. Even though something is ended, you still see this is a queen of wands and taking action. Maybe you're feeling like you're the queen of wands where, you know what? Things have changed. Things are starting to go easier with this six of swords. And because something has been over, you've found a different way to take uh, ambition forward with the queen of wands. Taurus, that's what I have for you today. Let me know how this resonates for you. Feel free to give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. We'll see you next time. Best of luck this week. Stay safe.